the closer we are aligned with the fact that God is actually in charge, whether we want him to be in charge or not, the better off our life becomes. The closer we'll get to Christ, the more we'll see what Christ does. There are two groups of people in this room. One group that is fighting to get close to Christ and one, room that is, one group that is fighting to explain away Christ. When Jesus saw their faith, I love this phrase. He hasn't asked them their names. He doesn't know their background. He doesn't know what happened with their mom or their dad. He doesn't know what their income is. He doesn't know what they give to the synagogue or what they don't give to the synagogue. He knows something about these four. They got faith. And he sees it. Contrast that with verse 6 and 7. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves. They're smiling. They're looking all religious. They're all quaint. Yes, we've uh, bullied our way into the room and we've taken up all these seats. Not because we want to see people healed. Not because we want to see God's grace poured out. Not because we're hoping God was actually true to all of his promises in the Old Testament. We're here to get evidence against you. And they couldn't hide it from Jesus. He saw the faith of one and the controlling religious spirit of the other. Here's the key. Jesus' authority causes two catalytic reactions. Number one, it's dismissal. Even in the presence of God, the proud can persist. I've seen this over and over again. Even when God's doing amazing things, there's always something wrong you can point to. Even when God's about to change lives, about to pour out just, you know who's the biggest fan of Easter? Jesus. You know, is it in heaven right now going, man, go get him, go get him, you guys. Jesus. But even in that, some people are like, well, they changed the service times when daylight savings, I can't worship God with this sleep deprivation. By the way, I agree with that. Don't you? Do, eliminating daylight savings time is the, the issue that should reunite America again. Amen. Whew, start your petitions. Um, the second thing is devotion. In the presence of God, the fallen are revived. So Jesus comes into a room. There's always these two groups of people. One that's kind of gone, oh, 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 well, yeah, sure. And another one that's gone, I'm deeply and profoundly broken, but somehow I feel hope right now. I wonder what the guy laying on his mat what I love about this miracle is it comes in two stages. They lower him down. Jesus sees their faith and says, son, you're forgiven. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. And they're like, oh, yeah. only God could forgive sin. And Jesus is like, good point. Good point. You're unintentionally correct. You're like Kurt Harlow in fifth grade math. Sometimes I got the problem right, but I couldn't tell you why. It wasn't my teacher's fault, let me just say it that way. Here's the application. What would it look like if God saw your faith this Easter? What would it look like? It would look like you thinking right now, God, how do you wanna use me? It would look like you fighting to get someone closer. It would look like you going, I know he looks like he's laying on a mat, I know he looks like he hasn't walked in years and years, but I actually believe that God can heal at a deeper and more profound level than any of us know. 